Hey everyone, welcome to tonight's BB Can 12 episode recap. Oh, hi. Hello. Oh, did we make it? <laughs> no. Did we survive the crash? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I'm so like fried right now after watching all the digital, well, most of the digital dailies today. Do you feel like you know these people way more than you'd like to? Yes and no, because it was just like so crazy how we had nothing all weekend. Well, like for four days. And then. Do you feel like your long lost friends have come back? I wouldn't be friends with most of these people. Oh. Ooh! <laughs> All right, well. Last, Some of them for sure. Yeah. Last time Elijah nominated Todd and Tola. Oh. Tad. Yes. But he had another plan oh. in mind. Oh. Ideally, I, he wants to backdoor Bailey this week. He wants Todd to come down off the block. Somebody use the veto on him. Right. And Bailey, get your ass <laughs> up there and go home. I mean, he wants Tola up next to Bailey so that there is that option just in case he would rather see Tola go by the end of the week. Well, he also wants the two of them up there because they are both kind of playing the game. So they will uh, be fruitful with their information. Right. He figures if it's Bailey versus Tola up on the block, he's going to get way more info than he would if it was Bailey versus Todd. Because Bailey and Todd are working together, right? Yeah. So if they're both up there, you're not going to get as much info. No. All right. Well, Tola doesn't feel good about going up on the block with I a, wouldn't either. With his back door exposed. <laughs> yeah. Todd doesn't care. Todd's uh, anything goes. Todd was like, I'm really well liked in this house, so I'm not worried about it. You should probably be a little bit worried, Todd. Do you think he's pulled out the banana hammock yet? I haven't seen it. We haven't seen it at we all. We don't have the feeds. No, it's true, but, like, I feel like we would have heard people talk about it at least. And I also true. feel like it would have been so outrageous that they would have put it on the show. Do you think he'd wear it for the, uh... <laughs> the I don't know. He tomorrow. was talking about how crazy he is in his real life, like, in his intro package. But I'm we've not just seen, like, a lot. very chill Todd. I don't know. I see depressed Todd. Oh. <laughs> just laying around Sometimes the house. Sometimes he's got, like, sad eyes. I don't know. I feel bad for Todd. I feel like he's in. Uh, I think all of his friends are being evicted. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway, right. Elijah's worried about the director's alliance because uh, he's been planting some seeds this week, and it's been very messy. Things are not mathing. The math's not mathing for him. You know. He's been asking people like, "All right, what if I put up this person and this person? What do you yeah. think?" And then reporting back to those people and being like, "This person." defended you, this person stood up for you, this person didn't, blah, blah, blah. I think that's a crappy thing to do, <coughs> to, like, bait people like that. Yeah, it's definitely, like, kind of a slight... I mean, like, it's definitely allowed, and it's, like, an acceptable form of gameplay, but as we've seen in the last day, <laughs> watching those dailies, that can come back to bite you oh, if yeah. you don't have a good handle on it. Yeah. Well. So he uh, lets Matt know... Uh, I asked her what she would think. Bailey. Sorry. <laughs> I had, I'm losing my mind. Yeah. I asked Bailey what she would think if you... It's okay, I read your mind. <laughs> you did. If you and Lexus went up on the block and she said, what if it was just one of them? <gasps> Meaning Matt. Oh. <laughs> so Matt's like, oh. Right. She's got to go. All right, we'll revisit that. Okay. It's time to pick players for the veto. Oh. <laughs> Todd, open the envelope. I'm seeing... Uh, the player is... Doogie. Oh, not Doogie. Uh, yes, Doogie. Anthony. <laughs> uh, Tola selected the envelope with Alexis. Uh, I know it's Alexis. What? <laughs> Who was it that said that today, Todd? Yeah. He calls her Alexis. Alexis, yeah. You've been living with this woman for how many weeks? Uh, probably closer to a month, right? Probably yeah. like a month. And you don't know it's just Lexus, like the car? <laughs> just Lexus. And then Goose a.k.a. Eliga, mm -hmm. picked Bailey. Oh. His which worst was like, case scenario. Yeah, because he wants Bailey to go up on the block. He wants her to be totally backdoored, and uh -oh. he's afraid that if she wins the veto, it's not going to happen. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> if she wins the veto, she's safe for yes. the week. All right, so Matt tells Doogie, we need Bailey out of here. She said yeah. that she would be cool with me going up on the block, and we need to make sure that Elijah stays on board with this. We can let him know, hey, the girls wanted you out last week to keep Dennis. Yeah, he wants to out the girls' alliance to Elijah. Mm hmm All right, so Doogie doesn't want Tola out because Tola's a meat shield. Right. Uh, Matt, Dougie, 
and Tola are like the three bros who are working together and looking out for each other. The three amigos? <laughs> All right, so Lexus doesn't know what she would do if she ever would win the veto this week. Right, because Lexus, Matt, and Anthony were all talking in one of the bedrooms, and she's just like, oh, I don't even know. Yeah. And then <laughs> she's about to say something, and Kayla walks in. Well, oh, yeah. one of the things that they were talking about, they were like, Bailey's got to go. Bailey is poisoning Kayla and Avery's minds. In walks Kayla, and Lexus goes, yeah, complete silence from all three of them. And Kayla's just like, crickets. It was like a while because she was in there getting yeah. some stuff and they said nothing. Nothing. That's so bad. It was awful. That is so bad. So Kayla knew what's up because she's not stupid. How do you not even like pull out some fake ass conversation? Like, my dog took a dump <coughs> on the floor and I had to clean it up. <laughs> I mean, something. Anything. It went on for a long time. Anything. I pooped my pants. Yeah. So Kayla goes and talks to Elijah about it. And she's like, what gives? We're all supposed to be together yeah. in an alliance, the directors. And these three are, like, not even communicating with me at all when I walk in the room. They're to completely which quiet. Elijah was like, oh, yeah. And by the way, Matt was concerned that you used the veto on Bailey and she's not even in the alliance. Right. Last week. So, oh. Matt's, like, trying to throw Kayla under the bus here a little bit. Two times. <laughs> yeah, it comes up again later. Yeah. Ugh. All right, so now we have the gross part of the show where Matt and Lexus are laying around Makeout City. These showman's check-ins are just, like, Are you my nice car? What Ew. if I had a nice car? Would you be mad like, at somebody for People be jealous if yeah. someone has a nice car. Are you my nice car? <laughs> They, like, are, made out. Are we here to play the game, or are we just here for, like, the sex? <laughs> Will you be known for sex? <laughs> ah! <laughs> So and yeah, in walks freaking Avery, mm -hmm. and she does not read the room. I was waiting for her to like fart or something. <laughs> 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 she just plops down and starts talking to them, She's and they're like, oh, like it's "Hot in here," and Lexus is all like, "Yeah, yeah, cause my boyfriend's hot." <laughs> not really. <gasps> all right, so Anthony, Spicy, and I would thought that said Koala, but it's Kayla. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, they are chatting because Kayla wants to know what's going on because she's hearing that two of Anthony's boys are throwing her name out there, both Tola and Matt. Well, you know who also can't read the room? Freaking Vivek. Yeah, Vivek walks in because Vivek thinks that these four are four. <laughs> he thinks he's working with Dougie, Spicy, yes. and Kayla because that's what they told him last week when they used him to get Dennis up on the block. So Kayla did one of those, we're going to do it live. We're going to do it She's like, live. I, guess I gotta have this conversation in front of Evic. Let's go. I would have been like, um, could you go to the uh, refrigerator and get me like a soda or something? <laughs> go get back? me this. Yeah, go get it. Right. You know, I really miss the Circle K room. I know. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> Can you get me a blue, uh, what was it, bio? Bio steel. Bio steel. Yeah. <laughs> they love that. That was the favorite. We knew that. It was a fun room. All right, so Kayla says Tola was wanting Dennis to stay. Mm. Right. No. Yeah. <coughs> no. Was it? I don't know. I, think I don't know about Tola what you wrote down. Tola says Kayla. Right, 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 right. I was going to say. Wanted Dennis, Dennis to stay. Right. And who? And Todd This is what also, Tola said to Elijah earlier in the week. Todd also didn't know Dennis's name. He's still referring to him as Dennis. Yeah. <laughs> But anyway, Kayla's telling Dougie, like, Tola is throwing my name out to Elijah. Mm -hmm. Matt is now throwing out my name to Elijah. Like, what's going on here? And Anthony is like, okay, so would it make you feel better about these guys if I won the veto and didn't use it on Tola? Would that show you that I'm not with him? Would you like me to make you some waffles and clip your toenails too? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Boo! But I mean, Kayla's making a good point here. She's Yeesh. made you. She deserves some support from she's her made alliance. So many sacrifices for Dougie's game when it wasn't but the best thing for her game. Right. And now she's expecting things in return, and he's not delivering. True. So yeah, she's pretty ticked off that she. I don't is blame her. Not getting the support from Dougie. Well, now it's time for the POV comp. Okay. And it's Spawn. Spawn con. Spawn con. 
It's from Tony Bet. Oh. Is that like, uh, what's the one that they have here? I can't think of it. The sports betting one? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. There's, there's, there's a couple. DraftKings? Yeah, oh, DraftKings. They're not paying us for ads, so. All right. Well, <laughs> it's, it's welcome to game day. And whoever... Uh, there's going to be little mini comps. Mm -hmm. and there's three different mini comps. This is like Mario Party. It's got the little yeah, mini, the mini games. games. Woo! I love that. So you get to bid. Like, I can name that tune in two notes. Right. But it's not naming tunes. It's no. It's like You're little bidding skill on things. how long it will take you to complete a challenge. Didn't they have something like this as a TV show like a couple Probably. years ago? I mean, I think it's a fun game. Where it's like, you gotta build this pyramid out of, like, freaking smooth-ass balls. And, like, can you do it in 10 seconds? Okay. Can you make, like, 12 shots in yeah. 30 seconds? All right, so, so, the lowest time for each round. That person is going to have to attempt to complete the challenge. If they succeed, they knock somebody else out. If they yeah. fail, they're out. I didn't realize that they wouldn't be able to see what the other people bid. Yeah, they were in their little booths. They didn't have to reveal it either, which was uh, <coughs> ad advantageous for the people... Who were throwing who, it. Who, yeah, who were throwing it. I had kind of wished... That people could see it? Yeah. Me too. Yeah. So, it's not just the veto up for grabs here. The winner also gets $5,000. Canadian. Right. <laughs> so that's... No prize tax. Yeah. That's... Well, yeah, that makes up for it. Yeah. So, the first game was called Sink the Shot, and basically it was a one-hole golf course. Mini golf. It looks super easy, because the way it yes was banked, no. if you got it in the hole... You're probably going to get a hole You're in probably going to get a hole in one. Yeah, if you could get past the windmill. Right. So, uh, Doug didn't want to play in that one. The he max didn't... that you could put up was 10 minutes. Right. So, he bet 10 minutes, uh... Todd also bid 10 minutes because he didn't want to play in the first round. He's like, I think I just want to fly under the radar, let other people take each other out, and then maybe swoop in at the end. But they're going to try and take you out too. Todd! Oh, Todd. <laughs> yeah, so Bailey uh, was the one who got that uh, challenge. One minute, 40 seconds she bid. Okay. And she took that pretty much down to the wire. I think there was, like, less than 30 seconds left when she got I, it. I thought she, for sure she was going to choke because she was just, like, frantic. She and was usually, not taking time to, like, set up the shots. Yeah. She was just like... If she had just slowed down a little bit, True. she probably would have... She probably could have gotten it in, like, 20 seconds. Time. Yeah. But she got it, and she chose to eliminate Tola. No surprise there. Yeah, that's not a surprise. All right, next one. Pickleball pushover. <laughs> it's the old... Uh, signpost standing up mm -hmm. and i thought that you know they would have like, like a pickle hit the ball, ball thing something. yeah hit the ball but it was a pitching machine covered up so you just had to like line up the shot and you had to knock down six of nine targets three of them were not able to be knocked down so you had to like identify which ones those were were you weirded out by seeing the slow-mo of the ball coming out of the pitching <laughs> machine where she was just like not really <laughs> No! <laughs> I'm surprised she didn't just go walk over to Matt and drape herself on top of him. <laughs> All right, so she made it, and she eliminated Tola. No. No. <laughs> Sorry, she eliminated Todd. Todd. Yeah. I, I didn't think that yeah, sounded right. Yeah, mixed up the two. She did a pretty good job. She was pretty... Uh, Under two minutes and ten seconds. She yeah. had to knock down six out of nine. Out of the nine, yeah. Because three didn't move. Once she got the first one or two, she was just like... Yeah, she was... I mean, it was a freaking pitching machine. Yeah, I, I, it's not like she had to hit the ball herself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so then uh, the last one was throwing three darts on a spinning board, and mm -hmm. the numbers have to add up to 60. Okay. <laughs> it was, like, not a one-chance thing. Like, you didn't just throw three and that was it. Like, you could right. take them off and, like, try to make it work with the time. You also had to know math. Yeah. Under pressure. <laughs> you had to add up to 60. Right. So Bailey got that one, and she bid 4 minutes, 10 seconds, mm -hmm. and she did it. It was kind of hard. It took her a while. Right. But she got it. It was pretty clutch that she was able to get that. Yeah. And she took out Anthony. Oh. Doogie. Yeah. <laughs> now so the... she definitely seemed, like, nervous that maybe he was going to be mad at her, because she was like, are we good? Are we good? <laughs> 
Sorry. I, I love you, Anthony. And he was just like. Did he do the Vivek face, though? Yeah. I mean, he definitely did not want to win this one, so right. I'm sure. Um, he should have thanked her for taking him out. I'm sure he was fine with being eliminated, but I feel like he's going to play this up. Like, oh, you took me out of the competition, blah, blah, blah. I wanted to win the 5000 Yeah. All right, so the last one was our favorite because we actually have this game. Okay, yeah, there was four, not three. I missed. Oh, uh, well, there was three, <laughs> and then the final, and then the head-to-head -head final. Yeah, we have this game in the small version. It's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. Each side gets five <laughs> pucks, and you have your bungee thing on each side, and you have to get all of the pucks onto the opposite side. Right. Not just yours, but also your competitors. Right. Right. So. This was crazy because Bailey had an incredible she had a huge lead. Wasn't lead. it like eight to two or something? It was eight to two. And then she started to flop. And Lexis And then it was five to five again. Lexis got the hang of it. Yeah. And she won. Wow. So Lexis wins the POV and five thousand dollars. What a huge comeback. It really was. Alright. And so. Lexis was like, this is for us, which is crazy because Lexus knows if this veto is used, Bailey's going up, and, like, she wants that to happen. Yikes. She wants Bailey to go because she's like, people are worried about the showmance, but, you know, Tola is cool with it, so I want him to stay. That is so <laughs> lame. Yeah. That's devious. Devious maids. Right. So, right. <laughs> Lexus really wants Tola to stay. She wants to use the veto on him, so she's yeah. talking with Elijah, and Elijah's like, yeah, I do want to put up Bailey, but I want the veto used on Todd. Oh. And Lexus is like, um. um <laughs> I have, like, no reason to take Todd down because, like, I don't even know Todd. She doesn't say this to Elijah, but, yeah, she's not feeling that. Mm-mm. Has she even met Todd? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so Matt and Goose are having another chat, and again, Matt is ragging on Kayla. He's all like, oh yeah, I just think it's like kind of weird that Kayla used the veto on Bailey and not you last week. Would you week. say he's sewering her game? Yeah, he's been pretty sneaky because he was also like, oh yeah, you can always trust me, Lex, and Anthony. Like, we always have your back. Basically saying, Spicy, Kayla, and Avery, Avery. do not. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty clear what he was saying. You don't have to, Absolutely. like, work too hard to read between the lines there. I don't even think there's lines. Yeah. All right, so Kayla and Elijah have a chat. And, and Elijah spills again. as like, Matt is throwing you under the bus again, saying uh, this, that, and the other thing. Matt brought your name up again. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you got to say about that? Uh, she's not happy. No. <laughs> she is not happy. But he upped the ante. He also said Spicy and Avery. Right. So then there Fresh. was some discussion, like, what if we took out Matt this week? Like, oh, We might have what? the numbers to do it. Maybe we split up that showmance. That would be amazing, <laughs> but they're not going to do it. No. <laughs> it really would be awesome, though. That would have been really cool. But that's not this season. Well, Spicy, Avery, and Bailey have a chat. And they said, let's get rid of Lexus's little boyfriend. Little boyfriend, little Brad Pitt. <laughs> they're can... yeah they're really liking the idea of this they're hoping that they can run with it and make it happen right so kayla and dougie or doji if you prefer have another <laughs> chat and she says matt sucks again i'm hearing he's throwing my name out there he's saying my name what's the deal and dougie's like no there's no way he would say that like maybe elijah's lying maybe you should go talk to matt and kayla's like <laughs> So eventually she leaves the room and makes it seem like maybe she's going to go talk to Matt. But everybody says, you better not. Yeah, she it. goes to her girlies and she's like, I don't want to do it. I don't want to talk to him. She's too heated right now. She doesn't yeah. know what to say to him. So so they all go outside. Right. In, and <laughs> those coats this year kill me. I know. Some people wear them as like leg Like things. a blanket. Yeah, so... She's, Kayla is ranting and raving out she there. She is ranting about Matt. She's all like, uh, uh, uh. But she's got her back to the door. Guess who walks out? Matt! I think Matt had been tipped off that Kayla's upset with him. Do you think he heard her screaming? He might have when he was, like, getting a jacket or whatever yeah. out in the hallway. So she's all like... I hate slop. Yeah, they're trying to blame it on the slop. Like, a few people were trying to help her out, and she's just like... She's been on slop for too long. Yeah, she was, like, going on about it, and it was just so awkward. And he's just obvious. looking at her like... Yeah, it was obvious that that's not what she was talking about. Matt is spelled S-L-O-P. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
It was super awkward. All right, so... She should have just said nothing at all the way that yeah. uh, they treated her when she walked in the room. Yeah. All right, so it's Lexus and Spicy time. Okay. Spicy is trying to make moves here because she does not want Bailey to go this week. Right. So she's like, I need to kind of like scare Alexis so that she will leave the noms the same. Right. So. Yeah. So we all know that Lexus would be okay with Bailey going. What a surprise. But think about it for a minute, Alexis. Uh, <laughs> if you do that, the girls are done. That's what Spicy is really pushing with her. Now, I mean, on, it's true. Yeah, they, Avery and Kayla would be done with her. Um, Is that how you want to be on? The, you want to be on the wrong side of history. <laughs> judging by the digital dailies, it also seemed like Spicy might have spilled that Matt could be going up on the block as the, the replacement because right. that was discussed, but wasn't shown. I don't the show. think she cared about. I th I think the show tried to make it seem like she cared about the girls. Like she cared about the girls. I think it was because she was afraid that Matt would go up. But the only thing she cares about <coughs> is the D. Yeah. <laughs> D Matt. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Um, she was kind of freaked out. She was like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Well, it's time for the POV ceremony. Okay. Todd says, "You're a smart woman. I respect your decision." And then Tola said, you are loyal and kind. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, Lexus was like, um, there's been a lot of misinformation being spread around in the last 24 hours. Oh. So. What is it? Yeah. <laughs> I will not be using the veto. Elijah was disappointed. He's pissed. He was confused because he was like, what misinformation? They had agri agri agreed, agreed prior to this <laughs> that she would use the veto on Todd. Right. She wasn't going to do that. And then Bailey would go up. So he's like, right. what's going on here? I was all prepared to put Bailey up. Yeah. Well, there's going to be a lot of fallout from all that, which I'm sure we'll see some of tomorrow. But. Or maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, we were gifted a little 24 hours later after. 24 hours later. Yeah, like right at the end of the episode. Tola discovers that the executive veto is gone. Ah, all that broken glass. Who's going to clean that up? Yeah, so I guess it's coming into play. Do you think that Tola found it, or do you just think that was a tease? That's the introduction of it into the game. I don't think Tola found it. I think Tola was the first person to discover, to discover yeah. that it had been found or Same. used or taken or whatever. I think it's possible that he could get it, but I don't think that was them showing us. Mm -hmm. that he got it. I think it was just like, okay, this is being released into the game. Do you think if Todd finds it mm -hmm. or has it, he will use it this week? Or I mean, yeah, because will he's he save in danger. it for a rainy day? I think he would realize it's now or never. Like, I better freaking use this. We but, don't know how it works. But you don't think Todd is going to make it? I don't know. I'm, mm, I'm not super optimistic could go either way. If they tr they have to trust Elijah, the girls. They'd have to. I don't know that they do. I'm going to say no. Because they would have Spicy V. Possibly Avery, possibly uh Kayla. Kayla. And who would the fourth Bailey. be? Bailey. So, I think I mean, it's definitely possible. I just don't know if they're going to go out on a limb and go against what Anthony wants. I'm also not sure if this veto is going to be uh like eligible to be used for this week or if it's just like being introduced this week and then I mean the I feel week. like it could possibly be used this week like when uh I don't I don't remember that healthcare worker's uh name who pulled the oh, golden veto out of her butt crack yeah. at the ceremony and is like here is a stinky veto I just have to say I'm going to be so annoyed if this veto is used and then like Bailey ends up going this week or something that would be so irritating. <laughs> Do you think it would be a cancellation of the... I don't know. Because it was like a holiday weekend, so like, don't they usually do something It's hard to like say. That? It's really hard to say, but... Yeah. Hopefully we'll find out more details tomorrow. We want to know your theories in the comments. Yes. And, and we'll, uh, we'll be back. We'll be back tomorrow for the <laughs> eviction, so... <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Yes. Uh, and until next time, much, much love. love.